Hey everybody, Jake Breen here. Welcome to the Utah Cribs web blog. It's April 1st. Yes, April Fool's Day. And no, I'm not telling you a joke or running a spoof on you, but I've got some real information. And this is perhaps my favorite video of the year to film. Every April 1st, we film a video for you that predicts what type of appreciation we think we might see in Salt Lake County over the second quarter of the year. So it kind of goes like this. We're a seasonal market in Salt Lake and we find that median price often jumps the most at any time in the year from April to July. So during that 90 day time period, how much can the market change? And those of you that have watched our videos know that we do this every year and have kind of seen the history. So quick recap for you. Last year, in the second quarter, so from April 1st to July 1st, median price in Salt Lake County went up 12.97%. That's drastic, okay? In 2014, it went up 4% in that 90-day time period, and in 2013, it went up 12% in that 90-day time period, okay? So oftentimes, yes, low inventory, all the spring buyers rush into the market, we see house prices skyrocket even when the general market isn't necessarily appreciating. How does that affect you monetarily? Well, last year we gave you an example of a $300,000 house. And we showed people on July 1st how much it cost them to wait in that 90 day time period. Because we always get buyers saying, well, I'll wait for the right house to come along and I don't really like anything right now, we're not in a rush. And when they say those things, we often cringe and it's tough to tell the client, look, if you care about money, you don't wanna wait. And we're not giving you some sales pitch here. We're giving you the reality, the real statistics of the, what the market has done. So in 2015, a $300,000 house in April of that year, um, with 20% down, a loan of 240,000, and an interest rate of 3.75%, again on April 1st, a year ago from today, would have cost you $1,111 a month, okay, with those assumptions. And that's what the market looked like at that time. Waiting 90 days to July 1st, uh, literally with 12.97% appreciation, the same house cost consumers 40,000 more in purchase price, which uh, made them put 8,000 more down as a down payment, if they're putting 20,000 more down, made their loan go up 31,000 more dollars, and during that same time frame, because economists thought the market was a little better, they added uh, about a half a percent in interest rate during that time frame. Now they came down later on throughout the year, um, but at that point, again, if you had bought on July 1st, your interest rate was about a half a percent more. So your payment with the higher purchase price, loan amount, and interest rate was $222 more a month. So yes, waiting 90 days can affect you drastically. So it's April 1st, 2016, time to make a prediction. Well, it's been a super hot market. We have extremely low inventory and we're already up higher median price than we were in any of those numbers I quoted you last year. And uh, I'm not so sure we'll see what we saw in 2013 and 2015, which was 12%, 12 um, but we could. I'm gonna make the prediction that we'll see in between a six and an 8% jump over the next 90 days. So again, let's talk about a $300,000 house. Yeah, every month that you wait right now is gonna cost you likely six to 8,000 more dollars. Um, and potentially, if I'm right, over a 90 day time period, 24,000 more dollars in purchase price in the midsummer than it would if you just went and bought that house right now. And on July 1st, we'll give you the real numbers again. We will refilm re this video and tell you exactly what the market did do and how much waiting actually cost you. No one has a crystal ball, but honestly, if you've watched our other videos, we here at Utah Cribs, we are experts, we're plugged in, we're educated on the market, and we're always working for you. And we educate you so that you can make an educated decision when it comes to your real estate purchase.